My name is Sam Drogi, and my job is to look at change over time in landscapes. Some national parks were talking to us about how could they monitor change, specifically the Appalachian Trail. It's very difficult, though, to come up with a monitoring program for those trails. It's far away from roads, and people who do park-based citizen science monitoring, they prefer not to walk for miles and miles just to measure something and then have to come back. And this is an idea that replaces a traditional network by creating a citizen network. The basic idea is to use camera stations to track changes in landscape without a lot of expense and without a lot of disturbance to the surrounding area. You fix one place and designating that's where any camera is going to sit. The purpose of the brackets is to hold it in one spot so that you're very consistent in height, angle, and direction. It doesn't matter what kind of camera, so we can use smartphones, we can use the fanciest SLR, and you take a picture there. After the fact, we use software to correct all those various pixel sizes and the camera lens shapes to have one standardized picture. Rather than snapshots taken randomly, here you're actually creating a historical time lapse of change over time at that landscape for days, for months, for years. And the other thing we can do is we can take measurements. We can look at counts, how many things appeared and disappeared, the changes in the amount of green, which would show us when spring green up occurred or when it didn't occur. Additionally, within an urban environment, we may not be looking at some of the natural features, but there's lots of spots that change quite rapidly. A building project, a watershed, lots of different possibilities there. And this is an idea that we'd like to release to the world. So we don't have any interest ourselves in taking it much further. But if someone wanted to start taking uh, pictures right now, that's possible. You can do this with just the software we mentioned in the associated video. And the bigger picture can be a large organized network of people, something like geocaching does for finding things where camera stations are posted on the web. And anyone can go to these spots and take a picture.